Hey, how are you? I'm out standing in this field. I'm actually sitting in this field, but the joke's not as funny if you're sitting. Um, it is a little bit breezy, so I apologize if there's wind noise. I'm, it is a little bit more than yesterday, and I tried to get a little bit farther away from the freeway, but I can still hear it, so I'm sure you'll still hear it. Um, remember this guy from yesterday? I did some reading and it's gotten a little bit convoluted. It is, the belief is that it is, um, it is still Yellow Rocket, uh, but there's two, two of them. There's American Yellow Rocket and there's this one, uh, the Barbarian Vul Vulgaris and the American Yellow Rocket is Barbarian Osteosaurus, something like that. It uh, sounds more like a bony dinosaur than it does a plant, but um, the American yellow rocket is native to the U.S., whereas this guy, I, I keep I keep speaking in indefinite terms that this is not the American one, uh, not native to the U.S. It's native to Europe. Uh, I don't believe this is the American variety because the American variety, one map that I saw, the one map, there's probably others, the one map, distribution map that I saw showed it um, Rocky Mountains and West. Which we're not, we're not there. We're in the central plains. But uh, that leads me to believe that this, along with a few of the other forms, uh, would lead me to believe that this is the regular yellow rocky, the vulgaris one, not the dinosaur one. And these leaves down here, they are a little bit smaller than what's described in some of these things. Um, but this plant is edible. It's it's a member of the Brachacea. Bracacia, Bracca, 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 Pack of Loomers, um, family, which is also broccoli. So it's related to broccoli. This is broccoli. It doesn't look like broccoli, but it is broccoli. Um, the whole thing's edible. Uh, from what I have heard, read, not heard, um, I'm gonna wander over here. Uh, is that it's a it's a bitter cress it's, they call it bitter cress or winter cress um and it uh it does have a strong flavor it's preferred to be eaten uh prior to flowering so you want to get the young flowers off of it um or the young leaves off of it before the flower it has a lot of old medicinal uses it's a diuretic it's they use the leaves to make poultices and things like that. Um, but we're over here because I wanted to look at this. Don't know what it is. We'll have to we'll have to find out what that is because that's new. Um, and those are white. And here's a purpley version of the same thing. A lot of things out here in this meadow. Um, this grass is all green because uh, this was burned. This was where the arson happened. So like up above yesterday, it was all brown and then there were some green patches. That green stuff was, it caught fire. Uh, and the fire spread into this little bit of the forest a little ways maybe. 100 yards in different places but uh anyway so back to that yellow rocket it's edible uh it's bitter it, in flavor so uh if you pick mature fly mature leaves um you can boil them there's some things you can do to make them a little bit more palatable um but they're a very popular thing to eat which it's probably how they migrated 
across the Atlantic Ocean because they're leafy green and they're prolific. So um, if that is the Barbaria, Barbaria, the vulgar barbarian um, and not the osteo barbarian, um, it's invasive. It's not supposed to be here, but it is here. If it is the American barbarian, the osteo barbarian, the osteo dinosaur, whatever, osteosaurus rex barbarian, um, it also shouldn't be here because it should be Rocky Mountains and West. So those would be what uh, you guys have in the Pacific Northwest. You should be able to find those uh, long creek beds and other wet kind of areas, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, so anyways, that's that's what I was doing. I was just kind of walking around. I thought I'd share that plant with you guys a little bit more in depth. Uh, if you see it, pop down and have a snack. Just know that uh, if you eat too much, you can cause kidney problems. So maybe mom shouldn't eat that. But, you know, it's fine. It should be fine. It says toxicity is low on it. Uh, so maybe not eat only that but people put them in they pair it with spinach for salads or you can somebody said you could ferment it kind of like uh, fermented greens collard greens maybe people ferment that like kimchi or cabbage i guess um, and you make a tea out of the flowers you can do all all kinds of things with this and apparently uh, be careful you know don't don't overdo it so anyways i'm gonna keep walking if i see anything else interesting i'll i'll let you guys know but i love you i hope you're doing well i hope you're feeling healthy today hope your weather's nice and you get out into the yard or out for a walk or do something get some fresh air stretch those legs and we'll see you in a little bit love you Okay, wind's coming back, but I looked up these little white guys. That is white blue-eyed grass. It's a member of the iris family, so now we know. We learned something new. That's what that is. It's, uh, well, that's as far as I've gotten. I'll do some looking and see what else I can find. Also this week, I didn't mention it earlier, I keep forgetting. If you were to say the word buffalo eight times in a row, you would be speaking a grammatically correct sentence. Look it up. I don't, it gets real technical on how it works. So I don't have the, I don't have the wherewithal to explain all of it. Uh, the explanation read very much like a textbook technical manual and I don't have it but buffalo has three meanings the city the animal and a verb which means to intimidate so or harass so yeah, you learn something buffalo eight times buffalo 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 that is a sentence anyways I love you guys I will see you tomorrow I'll go home and have some dinner and probably sit on the back porch because it's real nice out here. Nice and cool. Anyways, bye.